Hello again, I am Jim Bob and welcome to this special second look kind of video here at the Fent 1050. Now this has been out for a long time and I didn't really do a mod spotlight. I don't generally tend to do mod spotlights but this has just been updated today and it's brought in some really cool new features that a lot of people might not necessarily be aware of so I wanted to do a quick video just to kind of show off the changes that we now have with the 1050. So when this first came out everyone was you know dancing on air it was just you know we've been waiting for a 1050 on consoles for so long absolutely fantastic that we now finally have one and we've had it for a couple of months now and it's a great great tractor but there were a couple of little issues with it that were just little niggles one of them was the colors the greens that are available with this they're not quite right so for whatever reason you know if you go with the lighter shade of green, it's too light. And if you go with the darker shade of green, it's, again, it's not quite right with the rest of the Fent lineup. So there was that little niggle there. And the other option that was a kind of a little niggle was the wheel setup. You know, we could have standard wheels, wheel weights, wide tires, the brilliant Trelleborg Vario grip uh, wheel options, and then rear twin wheels. And that's where it stopped. We couldn't have you know a set of full twins which was a huge disappointment to me personally uh, i was really hoping that we'd be able to do that but all that has changed now we can have twin wheels and we can have narrow tires and we can have narrow twin tires as well so we have a huge wealth of options available to us now and on top of that we also have some changes down here now before we had the option to do a gray front grid or a silver front grid now we can also do a challenger front gray grid and a challenger silver front grid and what that means is that not only do we now have a fent 1050 that can run twin wheels like this but we now have the equivalent challenger look at this this is awesome this is the same tractor just with different you know choices that have been made for it so if we go into the color options here you can see that we obviously got the challenger yellow color now if you want to get a challenger tractor then you have to make sure that you choose either the grid gray or the grid silver otherwise it'll still come out with fent branding on it but because fent and challenger are both owned by agco and they both use the same body shell essentially you know um we're just sticking a different lick of paint on the same tractor here, but we're actually getting a Challenger branded tractor. And it's more than just a slight cosmetic change here. You can see, obviously, we have Challenger now on the front plate. We also have the proper Challenger paint style on the side. And when you get inside the cab, not only that, you also get Challenger on the seat as well. It's just a really, really nice little touch. So I'm so pleased that this has happened. We now have the ability to have these awesome looking tractors in Challenger paint scheme. So if you want to have a Challenger in your lineup that now has a front three point linkage, you can. If you even want to you know, have one of these monstrosities with narrow wheels so it doesn't damage your crops, you can. You can do so much now in, and incorporate that into a Challenger themed farm or an American themed farm. You've got so much options now. You've got obviously, we've had Case, uh, we've had the original three challenges and if you have the expansions the dlcs the paid for versions then you also have the field snaked versions of the challenges but they all have an attached front weight that can't be removed you know we've got tracked versions with the horse dlc we've got the narrow track versions of the uh, the viper and the python which are here these here from the horse dlc so these have the three meter narrow tracks to uh, prevent damaging your crops but again front weight so you couldn't fit say front mowers for example with this now we have a tractor that we could actually put skinny wheels on and mount mowers on the front and then maybe mount a baler or a windrower or something on the back and it's complete and resplendent in that awesome challenger livery so let's just see what it looks like with the skinnies if we just modify this change this to the narrow twins and there you can see there's the tractor there with the narrow twin wheels they really are spaced out quite far apart aren't they but uh, that is the narrow twins and if we run it with just single skinnies see what it looks like there
here we are with the single narrow tyres and we've actually got rear narrows uh, twin rear narrows at the back there so uh, it's it's an amazing sort of extra set of options that we have and uh, if we want to try it with the silver grid as well just to see what the silver grid looks like there we go and you kind of lose the challenger logo on the on the nose there it kind of becomes very hard to see but everything else about it is still challenger now and again if you want to then switch this over to a fence if we were to take that to just a standard um front grid gray like that then we still have this paint job but there you can see the fent branding is back so if you want to make it a proper challenger you have to make sure that you choose the challenger uh, front grid, uh, front grates they've got to be the challenger ones otherwise you'll get the fent branding when you put on this yellow color scheme but there we go just a very quick little update on the fent 1050 an amazing tractor now with even better wheel options and we can now run it as a challenger as well absolutely fantastic this has made my day today so that's it from me thanks for watching and i'll be back with another video very soon